everybody folks welcome back to my channel welcome to another unboxing video and i've got it right here this comes from a new company that i have not worked with before their name is naomi music they reached out to me and they said we want to send you a new product called the jibo or guitar bow and uh that's about all i know about it so let's take a look here let's get the box open or the package open here and see what is inside There we go, there is the box, guitar bow. And as you can see, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's sort of a bowing type of accessory that's designed to work with an acoustic guitar. So it allows you to get kind of a bowed sound out of an acoustic guitar, or thus is the theory. It's got a little pamphlet here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And it looks like it has uh, English and Mandarin on the back. And let's go ahead and get this out. Uh, so here we go. This is obviously the guitar bow. So you can see here, we have this sort of plastic handle and this handle is kind of unique. And they say that these edges here can be used as a pick so that you can hold it in your hand and sort of pick the string if you're not, you know, bowing the string. Um, what we can see here, if you see from the side, it has this sort of metal uh, piece that extends down. It looks like it's aluminum or something. And then we've got the sort of horse hairs sort of strung up across there. Uh, this one appears to be sort of a pink or kind of a coral color. Um, they make them in several different colors, and I didn't put in a color preference, so they just sent me whatever they had. I think that's kind of the uh, the basic of the bow. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, we've got what appears to be a little block of rosin here. Yes, there's a little block of rosin to help rosin up that bow. And we've got something else here. This is I've got two things. So it's got a little piece of sandpaper here and it's got a cleaning cloth, and we've got a small screwdriver. So it does come with a couple tools here. Let me read the instructions real quick and find out if there's something I'm supposed to do before I try it. Okay, so I checked out the instructions and it says that you use this screwdriver to tighten the horsehair. So on the end here, there is a small hole and there's a little screw in there, and you can put that in there and you can use that to tighten it. Now this one is pretty tight, so I don't think I wanna to try to tighten it anymore because it feels like it's pretty darn tight already. Now it says the small piece of sandpaper is to rough up the rosin. So it says to take the rosin here and take the small piece of sandpaper and sort of go back and forth on the rosin until you get like a powdery like uh, look. All right, I'm not sure how much to use here, but you know, maybe I'll need more as we get going, but that's how it says to prepare the bow according to the instructions. And then it says the cleaning cloth is for after you use the bow, it might leave a little bit of powder residue on the guitar and that's what you use this for. Okay, I grabbed my old Yamaha acoustic here and uh, just so you can hear it real quick. <laughs> idea um, let's go ahead and try out the bow here so again I have never done this but the idea I already think I need some more rosin so let me try that Okay, if you can pull it out like that, you really get a... Woo! If you get, if you can pull, draw it just right, it does really have kind of a cello-like quality. Okay, so mess with this a little bit. You can already see some, of, or maybe you can see the uh, the rosin sort of getting on the string. So it does, it does appear that it's doing its job. never played a traditionally bowed instrument like a violin or a cello or anything so I'm probably slower than most but um, if you pick a note and you play it I mean there's kind of two things there's kind of that back and forth attack and then kind of that pull and release attack now the other thing that's that's supposed to be in there is you're supposed to just be able to flip it around and go right back to a pick so let's try that and see if I can kind of incorporate something. Again, this is my first time attempting the Jibo, so don't expect too much, but... So 
it definitely takes some technique. Um, this feeling of like picking with this big thing in your hand, it, 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 it's kind of a different feeling. It doesn't feel like a traditional pick. What I already see this being useful for is I could see on a recording, you know, you've got several different tracks going and you just want to put like a little drone note in there. You know, just something. There you go that was kind of a quick unboxing and demo of the Jibo. again i do think this one is going to take some practice but definitely can produce some cool sounds now if you're curious on one of these you can actually buy them from aliexpress right now i'll put the uh, purchase link down in the description or you can check out their website at naomi.pro i'll also make sure that's down in the description below these will cost you about 30 bucks um, kind of a fun little thing to have kicking around. So there you go. And if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.